Hey Ravens, welcome to the final month of school and your weekly o and Now. I'm Ron Stanley. And I'm Ainsley Heisey. On today's show, we'll look at some talented individuals in Olathe, see what the seniors have been up to, game day Northwest, and more. Last weekend was the 8th annual Olathe's Got Talent held at Mid-America Nazarene University. Let's take it to Ainsley and Lena for the recap. Last Saturday, 20 students from all around Olathe competed in Olathe's Got Talent for a chance to win scholarship money. Elizabeth Booz, a sophomore here at Olathe Northwest, was one of those lucky Elizabeth winners. Elizabeth Booz! It felt amazing. I felt so lucky to be up there and alongside like all the other amazing people that got to perform. So yeah, I just felt really lucky to be up there. One of our very own e-commerce, Brett Taylor, also won a scholarship for his feature film created this year. I was surprised, to say the least. I didn't think I'd get anything, um, but I mean, we put a lot of hard work into the film, so I'm glad it paid off. Congratulations to all the students that competed and those who won. For Ainsley Heisey, this has been Lena Satterin. Now back to the desk. The forensics team has had a memorable season. However, they're not quite done yet. They're looking to make a successful run at state next week and then carry that momentum into nationals in June. Rosie Boswell and Shelby Orton give us a look back to the season and a preview of what we can expect at state. My favorite part is probably being able to have a place where I can really speak my mind and have discussions with people about things going on in the world right now. This past Tuesday was the Olathe Northwest Forensics Showcase, where performers had a recap of the season. My favorite memory from the season was the announcement that I had gotten on our school, uh, World Schools debate team for East Kansas. Four girls were taken to the Glenbrooks tournament in Chicago, and this is the first time we've ever been there as a school, uh, and I also one best presiding officer of my house. Each individual on the team competes at four to eight tournaments throughout the season. Favorite thing about tournaments is probably I learned something new every time, whether that be about the United States foreign policy with Cuba or even just about myself and time management. Season winds down to an end for this year. A few select students are preparing for the national and state tournaments. Just like competing, and so nationals gives me another place to um, compete in the events that I love doing, and also learning like the opinions of people from all over the nation. Because here we just get to talk to the same students basically every weekend, but then at nationals you see new faces and new ideas, and so that's pretty cool. Day is... Honestly, it's really cutthroat, and I think that's what makes it a little bit different because you have um, a lot of schools literally from all over the state of Kansas coming to Olathe North on a Saturday. For ONW Now, this has been Rosie Boswell alongside Shelby Orton. The Second Chance Breakfast is a new opportunity that gives hungry students the chance to get breakfast between first and second hour. Assistant Principal Ms. Mary gives us more information about how it works and how students can get their second chance breakfast. The district realized that a lot of kids are on the bus for a really long time in the morning, so they get up and eat breakfast really early, and then by mid-morning, they're hungry again. And so, um, and also, kids come to school, maybe they just uh, don't have time to get it, get breakfast before school, so they will get um, a breakfast a little bit later in the in the morning you guys like jazz last thursday northwest's own jazz band competed in the kc jazz summit day <laughs> petition the jazzy ravens had a great outing and were very successful in showing off their music pride the raven jazz one brought home the first place prize award for kansas city jazz heritage basically basie competition in addition to these great accomplishments Logan Michaels, Zach Molzer, and Max Cooper were awarded for their jazzy solo performances. Everyone had to play bassy tunes in this competition, and judges liked what we did, and we did a great job. Everyone played really well, and we ended up getting first place. Congratulations to the jazz band. Keep up the good work. After this quick break, we'll be back with sports. You became the Kansas City Savior to save people. You knew going into this, you couldn't save everyone. I just want to do so much, and uh, there's only so much I can do by myself. Okay, well, why can't I help? Henry, you're the tech guy. You know, you, you take care of the stuff in the background. You're not a fighter. What about that girl? She obviously knows what she's doing. You know, I want to help people. Everyone loves the Kansas City Savior, and you help people, and I want to do what you do. 
the Kansas City Silver. Why do we cheer for him? He's a simple. Mm. A simple. I love a simple. Sir? I've got him. I want to see you like this for so long. Why? Because you are everything that I hate. Just think about why you started this. You're standing up for people who can't stand up for themselves, just like you can stand up for yourself. In time, you will become the legend, the hero, that you were always meant to be. I'm so lucky to have such a good doctor. Anything to help your pain to go away. Thank you, sweetheart. You're crazy, Haley. I will test these in my lab tomorrow, but if I get in trouble, this is your fault. Then don't get caught. It's easy enough for you to say. <laughs> Thank you, Ian. He's more than just a teacher. He's, he's a great person, and he believes in me. Look, I'll see you tomorrow, and let me know if you need anything. What about the people out there? The ones who will die without ever knowing that there was a cure for cancer. And then there's the ones who will also find the cure, and they'll be killed too. Happy Thursday, Ravens, and welcome back to Game Day Northwest. Today we have updates on your favorite Raven sports. Last Tuesday, Chris Graham and the mighty Lady Ravens traveled to Shiny Mission South to battle the Raiders. The starting goalkeeper for the Ravens was Tori Spurgeon. She was able to keep the Raiders' score low by stopping every ball that came her way. Some close calls were avoided as the game stayed close, though. With 14 minutes left in the second half, the Ravens had a chance to put it away. But the ball escaped the crowd of players in front of the Raiders' goal, and Ariella Mesa made a shot toward the goal, but it bounced off the post before being kicked away. This game would be decided in overtime. With time ticking down in overtime, Jamie Barman got the ball and powered it into the net. Putting the game away and giving the Ravens a 2-1 victory. What a game, Ravens. Good job on your win, and congrats. The Ravens played the Alethes Hawks last night at Seaback. The Ravens battled the Alethes Hawks through the whole night, with the first run coming in the third inning with Wyatt Morgan driving and Brevin Lee with a single. The Ravens scored two more runs in the fifth when Brady Slavens hit a triple to drive in Brevin Lee, followed by Wyatt Morgan hitting a single, allowing Brady Slavens to score. The Ravens won the game 3-2. To see the Ravens back in action, come out to see back tonight. The Lady Ravens softball team played Shawnee Mission West at Shawnee Mission School District Center last Tuesday. The Ravens started off with, with the bats swinging them good. They quickly put three runs up on the board. Throughout the night, the Ravens kept scoring, though. The Vikings tried to make a comeback, but it was too little too late, with the final score being 16-2. Come out and support your Lady Ravens again tonight at 415 at Seaback. The golf team played in the leaked tourney at Lake Kavir yesterday. The round was plagued with strong wins, but they persevered. The team placed second overall. Cole Paris placed fourth with a score of 76, followed by Zach Molzer and Jackson Wexler with a score of 81. The men take the course next Monday at Falcon Ridge. Good job for all our weeks in sports this week. That's all we have for you folks. Catch us on the next edition of ONW Now. ONW teacher Mr. Oberhelman is known for his spicy peppers, beautiful gardens, and most importantly, his love for his students. Mr. O brought two, two of the passions together last weekend at Mission Southside, looking to make a difference in the community. Let's shovel it on over with Haley McCormick for more on the story. While most students were sleeping in on a Saturday morning, Mr. O and some ONW students got up early to make a lasting impact at one local church. We came out to Southside today to plant a community garden for everyone that goes here and for the families in need around here. Um, to teach community service to the Raven Nation and to just make some connections with some people that are um, from other countries. Without his students, Mr. O wouldn't have known about this service opportunity. Just some students that uh, utilize this facility and connections with uh, former students' dad and uh, just keep my eyes open. With the garden being used for a good cause, it wasn't hard to get ONW students and Mr. O to have a good time. We just got to be around everyone. We all got to plant and, you know, just have fun through community service. Being around you kids on a Saturday morning and getting you up early. For ONW Now, this has been Haley McCormick. Now back to the desk. With the end of the year sneaking up on all of us, the seniors' final leg of their high school career is ending. 
Last Thursday, the eCommunication Academy held their third annual senior show to showcase all senior eCommunication students and the work they've done throughout their years in the program. Students from all four strands designed booths to show family members and professionals what they have been working on. The senior show is where all the ecom seniors show their favorite work that they've created over the past four years and it's where their friends and family come and support their work and some industry professionals come in to seek out potential employees and being endorsed means you have 100 hours of outside school work that you've created personal projects client work that relate to your strand that's all for this week's edition of o and w now stay strong through these last few weeks and don't forget to follow us on twitter at o and w underscore raven daily and on snapchat at o and w now for the raven daily this has been ainsley heisey and roan stanley have a great thursday and we'll see you tomorrow with another raven minute